times. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Reset. <laughs> oh, Midtown. We've made it to Midtown. Right. This is very different to the slums. More law. Let's climb down first now that you're going to actually help us talk to people and then we'll climb back up and carry on again. Alrighty. <laughs> Gris says I, I swear too much for young and eh, sometimes. Delenn filters it out. You know why you filter that out, Delenn? It's because you're Australian. We don't even see it. <laughs> I work in, in a corporate world <laughs> and I still swear a lot. All right, so we back down the bottom. I think we are. Uh, but yes, welcome. Uh, please consider joining our Discord. There's some great stuff on there. We've got many memes, lols. We have some awesome pet pics. One of my favorite things on the Discord server. We also have arts and crafts from talented artists in our community, game info and lore, and just general chat chat as well. Let's start at the start. Let's meet some peeps. Lyrium, it's hard to filter the swear word sometimes. It's part of our language. That's right. It's just there. <laughs> we just accept it, right? May, did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it garbage brown. That sounds delightful. All right. How about everyone else? Saws. May is in her de what deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. <laughs> These guys don't like her painting. Ooh, what's this? We're gonna scratch it? We're gonna be... Here's some art from Gingy Boy. There we go. So Delaney, you don't even hear swearing at all. I often don't either. It's just expression, that's all it is. Mumuch. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. I was going to say, I was going to be impressed if those robots could smell... Oh, he's sad. What if we meow at you? Hey, Smiley. Yes, chewed him up. All right, what about you? Sorry I ruined your game earlier. 9,536 games, 1 to 6. Don't tell anyone I'm actually programmed to win at this game. Ah, and what do you say? Other side, can we meet you? Hmm, statistically I should have won at least 8 times. Out of 9,500, I'd hope you'd win more than 8 times. Ah, uh, sorry, 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 reset. <laughs> Right, what else have we got here? Zzz, electric Zerk everywhere. Oh, that would be bad. Electric Zerk. We'd need like a lightning gun then. Okay, let's see if there's anything here. Oh, hello there. Ah, oh, General Kenobi. It has been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except those damn Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power, having them run a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. What about you, sir? When I grow up, I want to be great, like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Ant Village. That's probably wise, because it's hella dangerous out here. Ask how we know. Because we know. Oh, come on. That's better. What are you looking at? Pretty waterfall? The soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, and no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. Three my oh sorry, not three. The mighty concrete shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solemn? A little bit. A little bit. All right, we've been there. Okay, so up here we go. Climb the air conditioners back up. 
kid, a child bot. Well, I don't know that. Ch maybe not, he didn't seem like a child bot. He seemed to be just like a like a youth of some kind. College student bot, maybe. Lena, does anyone remember the movie Robots? Ah, yes, and that also had Robin Williams in it, right? See you need, fill a need. That was the catchphrase of the inventor dude, right? Did I get it right? Watch my fanny. Fanny coming through. Ah, oh, yes, the, <laughs> the the robot that had the giant orby ass, the giant round ass. So good. So Sparkle Source, your question, are they uh, perceptual, perceptually a, a child? As in, are they always going to be a child? Don't know. We don't know enough about how these robots work. Could be if they're uploaded humans, which they might all be, right? They might be uploaded human consciousnesses. If you do it as a child, do you stay as a child? Or is it like Babette from Skyrim, who is perpetually a child, but actually mature? Who's this? Nice hat. Love that hat there. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. Why you guys even need food? I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. Yeah, well, you're only doing it for some sort of weird habits. Now, this guy actually does have... A baller hat. That is awesome. Perpetuality. That's the word. Sorry. Yep. Fail. Got it. Like no one ages. Yeah, no, I got it. I understood. <laughs> well, yeah, lampshade hat's not for me, but I do like this giant top hat. Mr. Sideface. Nico. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Well, that sounds horrific. Today's special, Ramen J45, with my secret ingredient, which is what? We don't know. We don't know. J45 or RJ45? Yeah, that's the... An RJ45 is the kind of plastic connector on the end of a LAN network cable. Whatever, that's what he's referring to. Oh, I'm going to scratch your floor here just real quick because... I'm going to leave our mark. Gingy boy was here. I haven't had any sleeping spots in a while. If we meow, are you going to... Oh, yes. Smiles for the meows. Okay. Time to get on the bucket and up we go, yeah? So, Cookie, we have a backpack. Yes, we do. It's a, like a digital backpack, a bit like in uh, Borderlands where they digistruct and digi-store stuff. Sparkle Source is still stuck on the fact that one of the robots may have been a child somehow. Why are they? What are they, child? What are hat? <laughs> what are they, why they eat? I think they eat out of habit. So I'm, I'm agreeing with Vito. I suspect all these robots are in fact uploaded human consciousness and i think some of them have probably forgotten who they were but i think a lot of them eat and sleep and meditate and wear clothes trying to emulate what it was like to be a human that's my theory this is taking us down oh but oh let's have a quick little nappy nap yes recharge What our hat is a better statement. <laughs> Anastasia, you don't think any of them are. Okay. You are in contrast to that thought then. Okay, fair enough. Maybe we'll get some answers. <laughs> Maybe we won't. <laughs> I'll zoom out. I can't do anything. It'd be cool if when we napped, we got some sort of upgrade. Like, we improved our health bar or b12 could shoot the lasers for longer there we go wakey wakey let's keep at it jump on a slide on a swing now we're meant to climb up was the clue we were given we need to go up so, jump back down and climb up again. 
Alright, well. The bucket was not the way up. Cats need food. Yeah, well, that's true. We haven't been able to eat at all. Surely Gingy Boy's a bit hungry by now. We did get to drink some water, so that's kind of good, I guess. There we go. There are some platforms here we can jump onto. I see them. Okay, that's another way. Oh, there's an arrow. Another arrow hinting where to go. Oh, nearly fell. Can we find any secrets over here? No. Just some scenic views of this giant water tank. That is now a little village. Alright, okay, up the pipe. That's where we're going, up the pipe. Oh, hello, you've got another fancy hat. Watering the plants. Hello, buddy, how are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colours though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red plant, and a purple plant. Alright, yellow, red, and purple. I'm guessing we're going to contribute to that only. If someone, only someone small and agile can get them for me. Yeah, if only. Alright, well we don't have any plants at the moment, but I'm guessing that's what we're going to try and do. But you, I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. Not anymore. We we'll still don't use it, freaking cats. <laughs> Imagine if we had a, a find a litter tray and stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. Super immersive. And then we could like, you know, speed out of there at a hundred miles an hour, leaving pieces of litter, <laughs> kitty litter, flying everywhere. All right, let's scratch this up. Yeah, very satisfying. All right. So we need to find, was it red, yellow, and purple? Yellow, yeah, red, yellow, and purple. All right. Take note, I'm probably going to forget. Can we jump across? Oh, hang on. There's activate thingies for those paint cans. Want to? That's it. Knock them all down. Do we just need to paint the plants? Do we make footprints. Yes, we do. Not what she's after. All right. Lina, do I have to wait a while before you can post cat pics on Discord? Yes. Um. So one of the moderators can. Um, can grant you verified access. So hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, Bright or Grizz. And um, he or she can um, verify you for access on Discord. It's to stop uh, bots and um, people joining and doing silly things, basically. Oh, we're getting high now. If we get up here, how do we come back down when we find the cool plants? Does anyone know if we come back here again? If we venture up this way, are we going to be able to get more plants? There weren't any plants down below. Were there? So Vito, ah, so you can leave this area and won't come back. So that's what happens if I go through there, is it? So we need to find... I could not find any plants for, um, planty robot person. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, down, kitty. We're gonna get down. Vito, do you know where the plants are that we can collect for that person? Oh, we're supposed to talk to a Z person. Yeah, the belters are. We did. Um, he was the, the bot meditating with all the cables plugged into him. And so he said to go on and find Clementine, who's in Midtown. And that's our way. Not sure how long you have till you come back. Oh, okay. 
All right. Anastasia, don't think we can come back, but can't be sure. <laughs> if you don't want to help me, it's okay. But I was just taught to help others. Just saying. Oh, don't, don't passive aggressive hint at us. Thank you. Paint your plants. But I didn't see any plants that we could gather anywhere here. Well, maybe now that we've spoken to the robot, we can find some plants we can interact with. Oh, there's a little island out there. We haven't been out there. Oh, all right. Let's jump down. Let's find a way down. I did not realize. Where was that bucket? We've already gone... I see a bucket up here. Buckets always lead us down to the ground. Saw a bucket somewhere. There it is. Jump on this bucket. No, cat. No, down. Down, kitty, down. Here we go. Good jump. <laughs> Lina, you know where, but don't want a back seat. No, no, you're welcome um, because I don't want to waste people's time running around in circles. So hints for extra extra content like this uh, is welcome. So you can share where I should go, but I definitely want to go down to this island. I'm guessing that's going to be at least a step in the right direction. So backseating is welcome on this channel. Uh, spoilers we want to avoid, but backseating is okay. Oh, there's a bucket we can jump down. I didn't see that bucket before. Here we go. Sparkle Swords, don't progress main story for like five minutes. <laughs> okay, time is on. Got to get your ass back here. Awesome. All right. Let's talk to these these bots. Some might call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. That's almost a direct quote from another game that we've played. There's an NPC that says that exact thing. This is I. Some some people call them junk. I call it. Is it Fallout? I don't know. I was a bell bot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. He found an arm. Poor fellow, may he rust, <laughs> rust in peace. Oh, robot puns. That is definitely an arm in that box. We've seen our fair share of dead robots as well. Fallout and Skyrim. Ah, it's, um, uh, what's the guy's name in Whiterun? Um, I want to say Balthazar, but that's not quite right. The guy who says he'd sell his, uh, his mum or his sister for the right price. Shit, what's that guy's name? The, the merchant in, in Whiterun. Red plant. Okay, there's one plant. Good. Now we need a yellow and a purple. Run around. Balafor! Thank you, Grizz. That was going to bug me so much. Balafor. Alright, where are the other plants? We can't walk on that ground there, apparently. The ground is lava. Uh, the yellow paint right next to the pipe. Oh, hang on. What yellow paint next to the pipe? Something over here? Or are you referring to something else, Vito? Go over this way any further? No. Here the guy's playing the game. Oh, okay. Right. We'll go back up there then. So that might be where we find a yellow plant. Guy's playing the game. Very good. So then we still need to find purple. Alright, let's jump back up here. I do like this auto-jumping sort of thing where you can't miss the jump. 
it makes me much more relaxed. Otherwise, I tend to pucker up. <laughs> Here's the guy playing the game. There's the yellow stripe on the bucket, Vito, but are you referring to something else? I'll jump up there. Right, back there. Purple. I mean, this paint. To the right tree, there's a purple one. Stop moving. <laughs> Oh, I see. Up there. Oh. Excellent. Yes. You guys are legends. I did not see that. Cool. So now we just need yellow. There's yellow there, right? That's a yellow plant. Let's go up there. So, <laughs> Sorry, Grizz. I can't help but move. It's my job. Alright, yellow plant. There, that seems like the place to go. Damn cats! Always doing stuff, always up to something. Always moving around. How do we get around to that? Ooh, so there... Hmm. We need to get up in that tree somehow. Oh, hang on. Can we go on this pipe? Oh, yes. There we go. Yellow plant. Fucking nailed it. Good job, team. Got it. All right. Where was the plant person? Were they up higher? I think they were, right? Yeah, there's the Balthazar. Oh, and there's something we can... Oh, we can rub against him and make all the screens go love hearty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He loves it. Okay, up, up we go. And up this weird pipe. Here we go, plant person. I collected all your shit. Like I've said, if only someone could snatch a yellow plant, a red plant, and a purple plant. Well, how about this? Here's a red plant. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Thank you. Would you find the other for me? Please, please. Yes. How about a purple one? Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Would you find the other one for me? Yes, we can. How about a yellow? I love that color. Thanks, buddy. I love yellow too. You found them all. Thank you so much. Here's a reward. Take my badge. Yay, it's a plant badge. So basically, it's an achievement collectible. It looks so good with it. Well, take care now. See you, friend. Yep, see you. All right, now we're in business. Keep climbing up. How did we do that before? Up here. All right, now we're good to go. We've done the collectible for this village. Carry on. Up and... That's a big jump. That's a good jumper. Like he's got plenty of practice playing with his bros. All right, let's go to Midtown. Find Clementine with no Zerk laser. I want that laser back. All right, into another dingy, gross, wet tunnel once again. Okay, where we go. Okay, what do we got here? Is that a train? That looks a bit like a train or a subway. Zerk days are over, but not the danger. Oh, oh yes, because I remember seeing there's like the oppressors, right? There's like stealth bits. Stealth bits we got to do. Hopefully I can... Um, uh, impress and appease Grizz, our stealth lord. Look, this is a subway station, that's what I said. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. 
People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. Who was your family, B12? I remember. I was going down... Oh, sorry. I was doing this for them. But now they're gone. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? I don't know. That's what we're trying to discover. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Alright, another piece of story-based memory unlocked. You're trying to put, um, song lyrics in? Right. Now he catches up. Was there a delay in chat? Ah, oh, Kansas song, carry on. Right. My chat broke. Oh, I see. That's weird. Sorry about that. Carry on, my wayward son. Don't make me sing. I'm terrible at singing. <laughs> There'll be peace when you are done. I feel like every now and again, it's like at least once a month, Vito finds a way to bring on wayward son. Not that I'm complaining, it's an awesome song. And uh, Grunt's on with a dad joke. Uh, every night at 11.11, I make a wish that someone will come fix my broken clock. The cat whale. Ow. Worse than my singing. No, my singing is worse. Hello. Leduck. Do you know Clementine? Exclamation point. Not helpful. What if we rub against you? Oh, there's a memory here. What do you reckon, B12? What do you think? There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. Oh, that's very intimate. We got here. Jump. Jump up. Knock the cap. Yes, knock the mug down. Anything else? But a uh, radio we can fiddle with. There's a bigger version of the postcard we had earlier. Oh, that person was not helpful. See what else we can find, I guess. That's where we came from. Watch B12 turn out to be Clementine. Ooh. Hot twist, potentially. I almost knocked it in the trash, did I? Oh, yeah, I did too. I didn't even know there's a trash can there. Good spot, Vito. I'm way less observant than all of you. All right, let's talk to this guy. Hello? Excuse me. I want your attention. Oh, he's ignoring us. Don't ignore me. Trip over me. Can you trip him? Yes. Now. That's what happens. Talk to me. Stupid robot. No. He cannot talk. He seems taller than the rest. Translate this. Wanted, Clementine, troublemaker, outsider, rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh dear, Clementine is wanted by the fuzz. I already told you five times, Yonish. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. It looks so fluffy. Do you know Clementine? Oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? You should ask someone else. I'm too busy with Yosh here to know anything. 
All right, how about Yosh then? Can we meet Yosh? No, that's... Hello again, are you searching for something? Yes, I am. I'm searching for... We can't interact. We can't do anything there. All right, what does this say? Don't worry about trash. Nico Corporation takes care of everything. Does it though? Sparkle sauce, it's back. Baby jam sauce is unsettled. <laughs> Babies are not hazy. Yeah, I know, right? So Clementine is immediately a hero because she's an outlaw. I oh, what's going on here? What are you doing? What's what's the deal? Please state your identity. Cooperate or we'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. No, don't reboot us. Modron, please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Okay. We got over here. Translate. Access to the lower level is restricted due to the organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Yeah, but we probably want to get in that area. Do I see a jump prompt? Okay. Anything special up here we can jump to? Hmm. This is an interesting bed. Oh, and let's have a snooze on the top of the tower. Meanwhile, dad joke. Just read a few facts about frogs. They're ribbiting. <laughs> All right. So peaceful, kitty snoozes. You hear the, the purr? There's actually a cat purr as well. All right. Time to wake up. Time to keep going. Don't forget to ask for Clem's address. Yes, we will. We will ask everyone that we can. So we've spoken to all of these locals. Can't knock these down. Can't jump down there. All right. Oh, hang on. Can we? Oh, I don't think we can. We couldn't jump around on the... Uh mesh over here can we no we can't all right down we get all right anything over here in the corner explore kitty explore does not look like it all right weird little dead end area Is that so it seems for now? Is it a cavern in a canyon? Sad song, unrelated. Be your fun. <laughs> so, as long as you're having fun, Grizz, that's all that matters. Oh, Midtown. We've made it to Midtown. Right. This is very different to the slums. Well, it's sl somewhat different to the slums. It's still got trash in places, but it's prettier. And what does this sign say? Residency to the right, Shop Street to the right, and Nico Court to the left. Okay, who are you? At Nico Corp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle it and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we had news from them. Yeah, so you just flush it. That's so rude. Just, just get rid of the trash and send it down to the slums. Cool picture that one. Hey, is that an address on the back? First symbol is a street and then there is a floor and a door number. Could be pretty easy to find. All right, well then, let's have a look at this then. Can we examine? I, okay, so three, five. So floor three, uh, number five or something. When we get into the residency. Maybe that's where we find but so much explore for lore that's that's right that's what we're gonna do see what we can find i kind of 
hope that it's not as expansive as the first city area that we had in the slums because <laughs> we're not going to get finished tonight. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Nico Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Well, what happens if we show you um, our Clementine picture? Cool picture. Yep. First symbol of the street, then there's a floor, then a door number. So floor three, door five. I think that's where we need to go. Uh, oh, did we show it to B12? I don't know that we did. Good point. This is the picture of Clementine and Balthazar. He told us to find her. She's in Outsider 2. There's also a series of symbols written on the back of the pictures. That's all right. Well, B12 can't really do anything useful with it. How about you, sir? I'm busy. What do you want? I want to find... Nope, he does not care. In a box. Yes, can we move the box? We cannot. We can just jump out again. <laughs> Very good. Apple source is switching the couch mode. That's all good. Okay. So we need to go to the residence. Oh, nightclub. Bouncer. Box closed. Get lost. What about Clementine? Oh yeah? Who are you? Police? Everyone's looking for her. I didn't let her in if that's what you want to know. Um... It is what I want. It helps with what we want to know, I guess. How about you, sir? This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up as spare parts. Can we talk to him? All right, let's just jump inside his shop then, shall we? Friends like this. 2458. Or code. Ah, that says code backwards. 2458 or 8542. One of those. 2458. Where are we going to find a code now? Is there a safe in here? Give me a safe. Oh, there's a safe. What did I say? I said 2458. 8542? Yes! Badge. We got a cat badge. Yay! A collectible. That means nothing. I want fat loot that helps me win. <laughs> I want gear upgrades, not collectibles. Anyway, all right, very good. That's done. We spoke to this guy. All right, this is where we came in, yeah? Oh, what's in here? Hello, sir. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then next day my other arm too, and then my body and so on until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software. Will I be the same robot you are talking to now? Don't know, but this is kind of how our organs work. Because we have various organs that are constantly regenerating, cells that are regenerating. Is it once every seven years or something you've regenerated most of the cells in your body or something? Anyway, let's show Clementine's picture. Oh, hey, what are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know. My guess is that they probably live in the massive housing building further uptown. Do what you want with that. Okay, very cryptic, but somewhat helpful, I guess. Except we already knew that. Come down. Anything else in here? Got a few... Uh... Oh, that's an old school sound card there, because it's even got the uh, joystick port. Right from the 90s. Nice. Knocked it down. <laughs> okay, so nothing else in this weird little choppy area. We go up this weird little alley. Nothing here anyway. Okay. Onwards to 
what were the places here shop uh, the shop and the residency we went to that shop thing in there Can we knock this shit down no ah, disappointing what's in this clothes shop here can we get a vest upgrade hello are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Do I look like that? Dickhead? Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for a credit. How about this picture? Who is that? Their clothes look terrible. Send them to me if they want to look fashionable. All right, thanks, Aussie. Can we steal some cash from the register? We cannot. Oh, disappointing. Have we got anything in here? No, just places to look around. I mean, things do genuinely look good. Oh, insert item. Insert a picture. No, all right. <laughs> we find a cassette tape. I'm guessing we can put it in that stereo. I don't know what it'll achieve, but we can do it. Is some music. Oh, let's uh, quickly. We better just oh, just stretch out and give this a bit of a scratch. Yes, yeah, very good. We climb up anywhere else? Hey, he's got a, a fuel jerry can guitar like the guy in the slums had. Ooh, where is this now? It's just out in the alley. Now I feel very lost. Okay, it's just through there. All right, that's fine. I am unlost. Excuse me, pink person. It's the trendiest shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty grumpy. Yeah, he seems to be. And they just keep saying, hey, is that an address on the back of that picture? Yep, all right. What else can we find? Show Shop Street to the left. Residency to the right. Nico Corp to the left. We've checked out both of those. We haven't really checked out this alleyway too much. Although, not much else to look at. Let's knock this shit down. Oh, we can translate whatever this is. To hell with the Sentinels, long lives the Outsiders. Very good. Away we go. All right. Anything up here? Nope. There's another big old trippy dude. Sparkle Sauce, you made it to couch mode. Most excellent. I guess question for Lina and Anastasia, if you're still on, how much more have we still got to go? Have we still got heaps to get through? We have not encountered any of those stealthy bits yet. Itor, sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivery guys, but it seems they are taking their sweet time. Um, and the picture, she says, oh, I know her. She's one of those people who's all obsessed with the outside. 